I'm Mike Gould, I'm mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth, and president of Houndstown Charities. So I began my professional career working with dogs in 1981. As a New York City police officer, I was selected to participate in a pilot program, which the New York City Police Department never had dogs, canine dogs, patrolling the streets of New York City. Uh, there was five of us originally, one in each park within the city. So every borough of New York City has a park. So the idea was to put a patrol dog and a handler, a police dog handler, in each one of the five boroughs to see how the community embraced it and as well as its impact on crime. So a police canine acted as a huge deterrent, psychological deterrent for criminal activity. So after spending 25 years in law enforcement, working specifically with dogs in various capacities, drug dogs, bomb dogs, cadaver dogs, I developed, I guess, a reputation in the community of being somebody that could care for people's dogs for them safely from that experience. And we were really pioneers in the doggy daycare business. This happened in 2000. We're talking about 1999 to 2000. We were planning on opening our first location, which we did. It was a small 1,200 square foot factory and the events of 9-11 took place. Very soon after 9-11, I was called to what is now known as Ground Zero to look for potential explosives. But while doing that, I was obviously distracted. The whole world was distracted from what they were doing, including my doggy daycare. Rescue workers then needed a place to leave their personal dogs, firemen, police, paramedics. They all needed to get to Ground Zero. So it was a kind of an ironic twist as life goes on. So Ground Zero or 9-11, the worst tragedy in the world. I thought my business was shattered. I was planning on retiring with the police department and open up this doggy daycare. But the whole time, Moving forward, from that day forward, our business has grown and grown and grown to where we are today. And since our inception in 2001, we've cared for 1.5 million dogs, safely, healthy, and uh, we really know how to meet the needs of the dog and the dog brain. Well, I find dogs to this day, this magnificent piece of technology that can't be duplicated by anything. There's no machine today that can duplicate what a dog can do. In, in the terms of smelling things that are invisible to us, hearing things that we can't hear. So they literally have extrasensory perception. Once I realized that, I've been focused on the dog brain, dog behavior from that point forward. But your family pet at home is capable of doing all the same things as a police dog you see on television. They are all capable of it, they're no different. The brain of a dog is the brain of a dog, whether it's in a poodle or a German Shepherd. Fundamental to our business model is transparency, honesty, and trust, and the fact that we understand the dog brain, so we provide a safe and secure area that provides the natural pack denning experience. All our dogs are grouped with one another. We provide the leadership. Every one of our staff members are the leader of the pack. No one dog is the leader of the pack. We are. And how we get that is in a very natural way. The other component of what we do is we don't breed discriminated. I mean, I find that offensive, and most people that own German Shepherd, Boxers, Pit Bulls, they are highly offended by it. So we don't discriminate it. There's no such thing as a Pit Bull brain or a German Shepherd brain, just like there's not an Irish brain, a Muslim brain. So we test their personality and temperament, and we group them by size, age. We have two-legged dogs, three-legged dogs, blind dogs. So we don't discriminate. We take on, if we agree to take on the responsibility of the dog, we're going to give them a very holistic experience at Houndstown. 